The flexibility of the hamstrings is of utmost importance to the wushu artist. When doing the front stretch, make sure that the back and both legs are straight. It is necessary to do dynamic stretching as shown here, bouncing up and down, to simulate the action of an actual kick. Stretch every day and flexibility could be noticeably gained. Set up a progressive schedule. First try to touch the forehead to the toes. Then go for the nose touching the toes. And further, the lips to the toes. Try to relax the muscles in the leg and use the arms to pull. There is probably an unlimited number of ways to stretch. Next, we will show you another effective stretch for Wushu practitioners. The side stretch. The stretching leg is totally on the side of the body. Bend at the waist. Try to keep the back straight and not humped. Next, different kicking exercises. First, the front kick. Just like doing stretching, both legs and the back must be straight. Notice that the foot is flexed, not pointed. The side kick. The leg kick up in the front, cross the face and swing out as wide as possible. Here's a front view of the outside crescent kick. The foot hits the hands as soon as it passes the face, hitting first the left hand and then the right. Make sure that the hands are very close to each other. This is the opposite of the previous technique. The leg comes up from the side, crosses the face and then drops down on the other side. Here is the front view. Turn the foot in such a way that the hand slaps the bottom of the foot. The previous are straight-legged kicks. The next two are snapped from the knee. For the side thrust kick, the power is focused at the outside edge of the heel. For the front thrust kick, power is focused at the bottom of the heel. Next, several stances will be demonstrated.
The bow stands should be low enough such that the front thigh is flat and parallel to the floor. The weight of the body is totally on the back leg. The weight of the body is rested on the back leg. The foot of the back leg is pointed as the bottom sits on the floor. There are three forms of the hand. The fist, the palm, and the hook hand. The thrust punch is the most basic strike. First, the fist is tucked tightly at the waist. During the extension of the arm, be careful to keep the elbow close to the body and not swing out. Keep the palm side of the fist facing up until the last 10 inches of the punch. Then flip the wrist over with a snap. Here you can see clearly that the shoulder is used to help extend the punch but don't stiffen up the shoulder muscles too much. Keep the two sides level as they switch back and forth. Try to relax the entire arm and not use strength until the snap at the end. The punch should be just about as high as the throat. The thrust punch is often incorporated into stance work. Here are a few examples. Make sure that the snap kick and the punch are executed at the same time.